Hey guys, I'm Patrick. I'm the lead editor and producer at LumaForge, and today we're gonna be talking about the LumaForge Jellyfish. The Jellyfish is a video workflow server designed for small, medium, and large sized teams that need to work off the same footage at the same time, whether it's for one project or many. The Jellyfish comes in three different flavors, the first of which is the Jellyfish Mobile. It's great for connecting up to 14 people directly for editing in HD, or up to six people if you're wanting to edit in 4K. It also comes with a great little handle on top so that if you want to take it with you on set or with you to a live event, you absolutely can. Next is the Jellyfish Tower, which is whisper quiet, can sit next to you in the room if necessary, and it allows you to connect up to 20 people directly off of the same Jellyfish for working in 4K HD or any number of other resolutions. The Jellyfish Rack is unique in that it actually fits in a server rack. Other than that, it is very, very similar to the Jellyfish Tower. It's still quiet and can connect up to 20 people directly without any need for a switch. Regarding price, the Jellyfish Mobile starts at about $9,500 for 32 terabytes raw, which is about 23 terabytes usable. Whereas the Jellyfish Tower and Rack start at about $30,000 for 80 terabytes raw, or 53 terabytes usable. Now the reason that there are less usable terabytes than the overall RAW is because we have redundancy built in to each of these systems. With the Jellyfish Mobile, you can lose either one or two drives without losing any data. That's up to you and how you want it configured. The Jellyfish Tower and Rack, on the other hand, you can lose up to four drives without losing any data whatsoever. In terms of speed, the Jellyfish Mobile has about 2300 megabytes per second aggregate read speed, which means that you've got that 2300 megabytes per second divided across your users. For the Jellyfish Tower and for the Jellyfish Rack, you have about 4400 megabytes per second aggregate speed. And on any of these systems, if you decide that you're going to expand your system and you expand by the same amount as your head unit, then you can actually increase your overall speeds. In terms of connection, the best case scenario is to connect your Jellyfish mobile, tower, or rack directly to your computer. If you've got something like an iMac Pro, a Mac Mini, or certain PCs, you'll have a 10 gig ethernet connection on that machine, which will allow you to connect and edit at 4K right out of the box. Now, if you don't have 10 gig connections on your machine, but you still want to edit in 4K, Sonnet and Akidio make adapters that will allow you to go from 10 gig ethernet, which comes from the Jellyfish, to Thunderbolt. In a situation where you're wanting to either use a render farm or resolve collaboration, where you necessarily need to have people on the same network, or maybe you need more than 20 people connected to the Jellyfish, that's a situation where you might need to have a switch. It can get a little complicated setting up a switch. That's why LumaForge is proud to announce that we've got an integration team that makes it super easy to make your workflow work for you. So, what questions do you have about the jellyfish? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and thanks so much for watching.